How's it going, everyone? My name is Blitzwanger, and ladies and gents, welcome on back to a brand new LEGO Incredibles Customs episode. And of course, today we are continuing the already stellar series that we have got going on for the Customs Spider-Man characters that we're going to be adding into the world of LEGO Incredibles. Of course, we've already done some very, very good work on several different characters. So if you have not seen the Customs for characters such as Kingpin, for example, or Shock, or Peter Parker and Spider-Man himself, you can go on ahead and check those out. And, of course, in addition to those uh, six, I was going to say four, we also did go on ahead and put together Rhino and Sandman. So check out those customs as well. I kind of forgot which ones we already had done. So either way, let's go on ahead and head to Edna Mode's house where we are going to go on ahead and put together two different characters today and that will be Green Goblin and Vulture. So you guys did like the idea of building Vulture, which is awesome. So I'm really, really, really stoked to go on ahead and put together the Vulture. Now, of course, with Green Goblin, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm really not excited for it, just because I know it's going to turn out terribly, but you know what, we're going to try to stay positive, and hope that we could, uh, I don't know, try to make lemonade out of the lemons that we've been handed with the Green Goblin design, I know it's not going to be easy, but we will try to go on ahead and somehow make it work. So the first thing I'm going to test, uh, I'm going to start with Green Goblin actually, just because I think that will be uh, the way to go here, is just basically what Green faces and headpieces there are actually available and there's just so much selection isn't there not really there's just this one which is horrible well horrible for what we're going for but you know what i guess that's what we're gonna have to use which uh, that really 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 stinks so we do want to give him that kind of purplish hat that he would wear but i don't think they have anything that is specifically like that hat so therefore, we're going to need to sort of improvise here, aren't we? Kind of like that, right? Unless if we could just get creative with it and just say that maybe that's the Green Goblin, right? And pretend... Because remember the Green Goblin design from the um, Spider-Man 3, I think, movie, right? Which one was it? I think it was Spider-Man 3, right? Where uh, Harry Osborn becomes Spider-Man. Uh, and I'm not talking about the Amazing Spider-Man 2. So, I think, I'm pretty sure that was the third one, wasn't it? With the Venom, the, the really bad one with Tobey Maguire. Well, either way, they did have a similar-ish kind of look with the goggles and everything available. So, we could choose that. I wish there was a hood that we could use because that would have worked really, really well. But, unfortunately, there really isn't one. Again, there's this hat as well, which, uh, again, is it, it's there. You know, it's not really a good option, unfortunately, though. Uh, let me see. Maybe we could paint that. No. You know what? I'm, I have to go with that other face mask because otherwise I just think it's going to look ridiculous. So with the green face or headpiece and then, of course, the green or sorry, the black hat, hopefully kind of sort of comes together at the end uh, once we have the limbs and everything like that uh, recolored and adjusted accordingly. Okay, so we need to match that up to his face. Which means that our Green Goblin is going to be very kind of bright green. But hey, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. And I'm thinking for the costume, I'm thinking to go with purple. But I don't know if there is anything purple in here that would match. So first, let's check. Wait, what was that up in the corner there? It's not really purple. Neither is that. It's pink. Uh, so let's check what is... Oh, actually, no, I know what is available. We would have to use the one all the way at the bottom here. Uh, almost there. There it is. So I think that's probably the best piece that we're really going to get as far as purple is concerned. So because of that, I think that's what we're going to lean towards. Then we're going to get the gloves to recolor, hopefully to the same exact color of purple, which I hope there is, yep, the option to do. Okay, that's looking interesting. That's the way I would describe it. It's looking interesting. That's pretty much that. <laughs> and then we're going to go with the all purple for the legs. Unless if there's something cool. Let's see. Maybe there's a cool leg piece color that is purple. Because if there is something that works really well, we're going to use that one, of course. That one's much more pink than purple. Mm, we could use that, actually. I think that would work. Hmm. It's not a bad look. It's not a terrible look. 
But I feel like the stripes and everything is, it kind of takes away from the overall look. So I'm just going to color them fully purple. And hopefully that looks pretty decent. There we go. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all, actually. Of course, there's a lot of elements that I don't particularly care for, like the face, which I wish we could have made better. But again, there's only so much we can do, unfortunately. We will give him the flame ability, kind of like the goblin bombs that he would typically be using. So that sort of fits the character in that sense. So we were able to at least replicate a little bit of his abilities. It would have been nice if we could have been able to maybe pick fire and flight. I know that this gives you laser, but that's not fire. So because of that, I feel like we're going to stick with this one. Because I think that works a little bit better for this character. So, whew, we managed to get this done. Now, of course, guys, let's get some hype going for the Vulture. Because with Vulture, I really do think we could do an excellent job with that design. Um, whereas with Green Goblin, I told you guys in advance. I know you guys wanted to see it, which is why I went ahead and built it. Because I was like, hey, I told you guys I would give it a go. I would try it out. But I, at the same time, knew that it was not going to work because I was like, there's just not enough components here. There's not enough of the right pieces. And imp most importantly, the most important piece, which is the face and the torso, there's nothing that even resembles kind of Green Goblin's outfits. So it was not going to work out very well, no matter what. But luckily, we were able to at least get somewhat of a kind of all right looking character which uh, i guess i'm proud of that aspect at least okay so with the face we already know which one we're going to use because i did come up with that suggestion i think that was on the last episode when i was um building kingpin and shocker i think that's when i thought of using this face right here because i think it's like essentially perfect for vulture so we're going to use that now the torso there's actually a couple of options here uh, we could use the, because there's a few greens here, yeah. We could use this, which is kind of a nicer, darker green, but it does kind of look good. So that's an option. That one is not really an option. We could use this as well, which is an interesting option. Hmm. I feel like that one is very, very, very bright green. And not that that's necessarily a bad thing. I just think I'd like to go with this kind of darker green. Uh, for the overall look. And by the way, this looks really good too. Man, any character that has a green costume, we can do well on. Because there really is a lot of options in here for green suits and such. So that really helps us out a ton. So you know what? I think I'm going to actually go with this. Because I think that will look pretty good once we have everything uh, all colored properly. So the nice thing about uh, Vulture is that his entire costume is pretty much green. So that really makes things very, very easy for us. But of course, the thing that's really going to bring this whole look together are the wings, which is probably one of the coolest components that you can add in the LEGO Incredibles customizer because I want to go on ahead and also, of course, I've harped on some of the negative sides where I'm like, hey, I really wish that we had this or that and the other. But obviously, there are also elements that I really like in the customizer. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing them. But um, the coolest or one of the coolest things are the wings that we have available we have these wings so we could use those but i feel like these fit a much much better for vulture it's interesting that they're tucked though so i didn't expect that kind of not gonna lie but i think that that looks pretty sweet and overall like i have to say that that i'm not trying to give myself too much credit here but i really do believe that that's a pretty pretty awesome look for vulture we obviously have to give him flight so because of that i think we would have to go with, uh, do we want to give him dive ability? Probably not. So let's give him this one. And we're going to go on ahead and obviously retitle his name. It's weird that this guy's name starts with the same letter. That's happened a few times. Like that coincidence is kind of odd. I guess I've taken notice of it. So with Vulture done, I can now proudly say that at least one of our two customs today is absolutely fantastic. So I'm super duper stoked with how well we were able to put together the Vulture. Again, I know that that character is very simple and that's probably what allowed us to go on ahead and put the character together is the fact that there really aren't hugely important components. Like with Green Goblin, you have that like weird hat that he wears. I don't even know how to describe it. Like a, it's like a a cap more than even a hat and then in addition to that of course he's got to look like a goblin which is very difficult to do when you've only got one green face available in the entirety of the customization system in the game so that really really made things quite difficult let's just leave it at that so of course with that all in mind drum roll please and let's take a look at uh, green goblin so there he is uh 
Yay! Green Goblin. Okay, moving on. Sorry. <laughs> I, I honestly cannot take pride in that character. That did not go well. But I will take pride in this character because I think he turned out really well. In fact, I would say that this is up there, probably in the top three best Spidey customs that we've done so far. At this point, we've built eight characters. So being in the top three is pretty good. Uh, that's definitely a pretty good barometer. That's in the top 50%. So not too shabby whatsoever. Let me know what you guys think of the two designs. Which one do you like best? I'd be actually kind of surprised if some people like the Green Goblin look better. But hey, uh, crazier things have happened. So I'm sure that at least some of you guys might actually like that look better. On top of that, guys, do not forget, we still have room for four other Spidey characters to join the LEGO Incredibles video game. So the decision making as to which four are going to join is really up to you. So just take a quick moment to go on ahead into the comment section down below and let me know. Hey, Blitz, I think it would be really cool if you designed Venom or Craven the Hunter or Mysterio or, you know, insert whatever character or Mr. Negative, let's say. He's going to play a huge factor in the new Spider-Man game coming out in September. So or at least in the trailers, we've seen that he plays a huge factor. So again, maybe that's a character you want to see. So let me know down in the comment section below. On top of that, guys, like I always say, have an absolutely fantastic day. I'll see you guys all here next time. Peace out. See you laters, alligators. Bye-bye, guys.